European climate scientists Alsh with a grim report on the state of the world's oceans. They say global sea temperatures hit a record high last month. The soaring mercury levels risk causing mass coral bleaching across the world and the death of other marine life. Ocean temperatures hit their highest all-time record in February, a startling milestone that saw the surface of the world's seas hit 69.9 degrees Fahrenheit on average. That's according to the EU's Copernicus Climate Change Service, or CS3, on Thursday. They say the new record broke a previous average of almost 69.8 degrees in the Northern Hemisphere summer last August in a data set that goes back to 1979. This last month was also the hottest February on record, the ninth consecutive month to set their own monthly record. An El Nino climate pattern this year, fueled by warmer surface waters in the eastern Pacific, is driving extra heat. However, Carla Buontempo, director of the CS3, says human-caused climate change is still largely to blame. So there are a number of co-causes, but fundamentally, and, and these are uh, fluctuations, so you, you, you have, uh, as for El Nino, positive phases and negative phases. So on the long term average, they typically average to, to zero. But climate change keeps adding up because uh, uh, we keep pumping greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And so this fundamentally uh, makes a new temperature record uh, more likely to be broken. This week, marine scientists warn of a likely fourth global mass coral bleaching event in the Southern Hemisphere, potentially the worst in history due to warming waters. Corals bleach under heat stress and will expel the helpful algae that live in their tissues, leaving behind a pale skeleton, which makes them vulnerable to starvation and disease, and many die. That can lead to the collapse of reef ecosystems, leaving coastlines vulnerable and fisheries depleted. While the global sea surface temperature record excludes polar oceans, conditions there are also concerning. Antarctic sea ice hit its third lowest extent on record in February, 28% below average. The CS3 said El Nino is now weakening in the equatorial Pacific, but the air temperatures over the oceans remain at an unusually high level.